In this video, we will demonstrate how to upload data stored in local files or Dropbox folders into the Devo Data Operations platform. With Devo, you can upload any file type, regardless of its structure or content. Today, we are going to use the file generation tool, Makaroo, which you can access by going to makaroo.com. Use the default file structure and add a new date field at the beginning of the file. We will keep the CSV format, comma, separated values, so uncheck the Include Header option, which is not necessary in Devo. Once finished, click Download Data. Now go to the Logs Upload section in Devo, where we will select the Local Files option. Drag and drop the file, or select the file from the local file system. Note that there is a 20 megabyte file size limit for each file. We need to set the tags that identify the table this data will be associated with in Devo, so we can find it later in the finder. Starting with my.upload, which is preset, we will use mock test1. All events in Devo must be associated with a timestamp. The next step is to set how the timestamps for data from our files is going to be determined. One option is to use current date, which will use the date and time at which the data arrived at Devo. The other option is to use a timestamp from within the data itself. Since our file has this data inside, we will use the option by selecting date from a log field. Mark CSV as the type of parsing, and we will see the first record of our file and the possible fields that by their structure could contain timestamp information. Select the date field we added and confirm. In a few minutes, we will be notified that the data from the file has been uploaded into Devo, and the associated table can be queried and analyzed. Remember that since we use the timestamps from the file for uploaded data, we have to use those times frames when working with this data. Each line from the file will appear as an event in Devo, with the body of the event being the set of fields in the file, separated by commas. Loading files from a Dropbox folder is just as easy as the process we went through. You simply choose the Dropbox option and enter your credentials. Note that when uploading files from Dropbox, there is no file size limit. We hope you enjoyed this Devo video, and be sure to check out the rest of our exciting videos.